Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking all about chicken breeds. I've noticed a lot of people wanna get into chickens and raising their own backyard hens for eggs, but probably most of you don't realize how many different types of chicken breeds there are. So today in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to pick the best chicken breed for your needs. First though, I would like to give a quick shout out to Over Easy Chicken Coop for providing my beautiful chicken coop here in the background. This is just a beautiful chicken coop and it has saved them from so many foxes and they do sell other products for chickens. So be sure to check them out over on their website. There are so many new people getting into chickens and if you've never had chickens, you probably don't know where to start. And once you see how many different breeds there are to choose from, it might be a little overwhelming at first. I think it's important to pick the right breed of chicken for you and when it comes to picking chickens they come in so many different breeds and there's everything for hot weather, cold weather, egg size, egg color, amount of eggs that they produce, friendliness, there's just so much to choose from. So let's start off first with where do you get chickens? You can actually order chicks in the mail for a pretty economical price. It's safer to ship large groups of chicks such as 15 to 25 and some will ship fewer, but this is more risky because groups help maintain heat. You can also find places that ship older chickens that will lay sooner, but this can be a lot more expensive. You can usually find chicks at feed stores, although your choices won't be as vast. And of course, you can check local forms. When you're buying your chicks online or at a feed store, they will usually give you two options, pullets or straight run. Pullets are all female, which is usually what you want to order if you're getting chickens for eggs. Straight run means one of two things. If it's, let's say, straight run leghorn, that means you're ordering a mix of female and male leghorn chicks. But if it says straight run egg production, that means you're ordering males and females that will be breeds used for eggs. So straight run can either be male or female of one breed or male or female of multiple breeds. And remember, only the female lays the eggs and there is no need to have a male with them. Now, local farms that are selling their own chickens that are offering chicks for sale will usually just offer straight run on chicks and pullets if the chickens are about six months. And some places are very strict on how they keep their chickens and will be able to offer purebreds, but some local farms just keep all the chickens together and so when you buy chicks from there, you will be getting mutt chickens basically. And so that's fine. It's just important to understand that they won't have the breed characteristics that you might be looking for. Now that you have a better idea of where you can get chickens, let's talk about how to pick the right breed for you. You should consider your climate. I find this to be more important for those living in cold climates than hot climates. I feel like cold climate chickens have an easier time adjusting to hot weather than hot climate chickens do to adjusting to cold weather. The reason for that is that cold climate chickens have a smaller crown and wattles. This prevents frostbite. If you get chickens that are hot climate, you really run the risk of their large crown getting frostbite during winter. These physical adaptations are for controlling body temperature. Hot blood goes into these exposed skin areas and goes back into the body cooled down. So the larger ones are better for hot climates. Next, you'll wanna think about what you want from your chickens. Do you just want eggs? Or do you also want a meat bird for eggs and meat? So then there's different types of breeds for both. And for example, Orpington <laughs> are a big fat chicken that produce a lot of eggs and can also double as meat chickens. If you are looking for both, I would also recommend looking into laying ducks and considering that, but this isn't a duck video. Then consider how many eggs you're expecting to get from your chickens. Are you feeding just a family of two or three or do you have six kids? Maybe you wanna sell eggs at your local market. And so that's gonna also help in determining which breed you get and how many chickens you get. So uh, high production chickens are gonna lay 300 plus eggs a year. Then mid production chickens are gonna lay about 250. And then there's also lower production chickens. If you're feeding just a family of two or three, then you can get mid production chickens and really just keep like three or four of them. However, if you have a very large family or you want to sell eggs, 
then you should consider breeds like Leghorn or Rhode Island Red for lots of production. And then you'll also want to consider if you want to continue raising your own chickens or if you just want to keep the chickens for their eggs and buy new chickens once you need new chickens. The reason I bring this up is that if you don't want to raise chickens, if you don't want to have chicks, then I would suggest getting breeds that don't go broody. Broody means that the chicken becomes hormonal and decides that they want to set on their eggs and hatch them. If you don't want to be hatching eggs, it's not beneficial to have a chicken breed that is known for going broody often. However, if you do want to continue raising chickens, it is a lot less work when the hens raise their own chicks. And so it is beneficial at that point to get chickens that make good mothers. Now also consider where you're gonna keep your chickens and how much room you have for them. So if you have a huge backyard and your chickens are gonna be free range 24 seven, then you really have endless options when it comes to breeds. However, if you're going to keep your chickens in a coop, mostly confined, then you wanna pick something that's a friendlier breed. So something like Americanas, they're more likely to peck on each other when they're confined. That's not a good breed option for you if you're housing them in a chicken coop. So you wanna get something that's friendly, not something that's gonna to wanna to peck each other to death. Next, a favorite topic for a lot of people, the color of your chicken eggs. Now, if you don't care if you get just white eggs, then I would suggest getting breeds for production and getting all the same breed. So all your chickens of the same breed. But if you wanna have a beautiful egg basket, then I would suggest getting all different breeds of chickens, maybe each one a different breed. Now this is where people who are just getting into chickens have an eye-opening experience. So white eggs do not mean that they're not organic. The color of your chicken egg depends on the breed. That's why I laugh when I go to the grocery store and I see that all the organic eggs are brown. It has nothing to do with what they're eating. So a chicken can be fed all organic food and leafy green vegetables and things like that and be producing a white colored egg. It's actually the yolk color that changes depending on what the chickens are eating. But that's a whole nother topic. There are lots of different breeds that lay beautiful eggs. One of my favorite is the Black Cooper Marin that lays a reddish brown egg, sometimes very dark. Those are beautiful. And then there's also Americana, which lay bluish green eggs. And then you have your mixes that sometimes come out with your olive acres and things like that. So there's a lot of color to choose from as well. Now, when it comes to size, that's also something important when choosing your breeds because you could end up either with a nice big egg or a little egg. So bantams, things like that, those are cute chickens, but they're gonna lay really small eggs and then other chickens lay larger eggs. And depending on the breed, uh, you have your extra large or just your regular large. If you're looking for some big eggs, then I recommend something like Plymouth Rock chickens. And of course, there is color to think about. There are some chickens that I would consider plain breeds, like Leghorn or even Black Cooper Marin, and there are others that are very striking to look at. Americana are usually very flashy, and I think one of the prettiest layers are wine dots. But there are many breeds and variations that are very colorful and unique, such as golden lace or white lace, and some chickens even with naked necks. So there's a lot to choose from when it comes to looks, and I guess there's something for everybody. And based on breed, even the personality of the chicken can change. If you're looking for chickens to raise as pets or close to your family, I would suggest getting a friendly breed, such as Cochins. They are super cute with their feathery feet and are very friendly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped you decide which breed of chickens you should get. Let me know in the comments what your favorite breed is and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.